Can you believe this? We have been standing here for 10 minutes and he still won't get off the phone. Maybe we should just try another one. I can't keep running from corner to corner. He'll get off eventually. Boy, if I were mayor of this city, I'd pass laws against monopolizing public phones. There are enough laws people ignore already. Yeah, well, they couldn't ignore these because I would set up a special police courtesy squad to enforce them. Sounds great. Yeah, well, I wouldn't stop there. I would make people put out their cigarettes in restaurants, stop playing those loud radios in the subway. Good idea. Make bank tellers be polite, no beer drinking out of paper bags, no exposed belly buttons, Allie, male or female. Allie, off the phone. Fine. Remind me if my mom ever runs for office. I now vote for the other guy. Aren't you squeezing that a little hard? This one deserves to be slapped. <laughs> oh, here. Uh, try that. Perfect. Thank you. So, uh, you shop here often or just stop by now and again to abuse the vegetables? Uh, at $1.25 a pound, only millionaires shop here often. Excuse me, I have to go fondle the yams. <laughs> Nice, huh? Beautiful. <laughs> Plenty of meat on her, too. Nice and firm. <laughs> you know, she'd be nice covered with oil, laying in a bed. Of, uh, I beg your pardon? A bed of lettuce with onions and mozzarella. Uh, is, is there something wrong? No, no, no. I'm always looking for new recipes. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, I've got a great one for jambalaya. I love Cajun food. That's why I'm here. I need tasso ham and andouille sausage, uh, but they don't have them. Well, it doesn't go with designer vegetables. <laughs> but there's a place called Castellanos. It's on Waverly near Bank. You'll probably find it there. Oh, thank you. You know, that's what's so great about New York. I can't find this stuff in Boston. You came all the way down from Boston for ham? No, actually, I came on business, but... Uh, I'm having a dinner party tomorrow night, and since I was in the neighborhood... Gotcha. Listen, if they say they don't have it, mention my name. They usually keep a pound or two in the back room for preferred customers. Oh, thank you. Oh, what is your name? Oh, Allie Lowell. Oh, uh, Bob Barsky. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, my pleasure. Good luck with your party. Oh, you're leaving? Uh... Well, yeah, I've got to run. I've got a class. Oh, cooking? No, art history. I'm designing still life. Bye. Oh, bye, Allie Lowell. Hi, guys. Chip, I told you not to play that in the house. But, Mom, I have to practice. I've got a big game tomorrow. Then practice down in the basement. Boy, wait till I'm playing for the Mets. Then you'll be sorry. So will the Mets. <laughs> so, how was your day? So-so. Make any new friends? No, why? Somebody left a message while you were gone. Who? It's on the machine. Why won't you tell me? Just play it and you'll see. It's already rewound. Hi, this is Bob Barsky. I'm calling for the Ali Lowell who was abusing the produce at the gourmet shop this morning before our <laughs> history class. If this is you, I uh, hope you don't mind, but uh, I looked you up in the phone book. That's why I'm listed. <laughs> but then that's what you get for being listed. <laughs> but, well, anyway, uh, I'd like to take you to dinner tonight. I usually don't move this fast, but I'm going back to Boston tonight, so it's a fourth down situation with minutes on the clock, and I'm attempting a Hail Mary pass. It's cute. I'll be at this number till 7. Uh, 555 1010. Oh, oh. If you call before 7, I'll take a later flight. And if you don't call, I'll, I'll, I'll bet call, huh? Bye. It's almost 6 30. Right. You really gonna call him? No, I'm going to call Kate in San Francisco to find out if I should call him. I think you should call him. I'm still going to wait and see what Kate says. Yeah, Kate McCardle, please. Ah, uh, well, when she gets back, would you have her call home? It's semi-urgent. Thanks. Boy, after all these years of Kate giving me advice when I don't need it, where is she when I do need it? Probably on a date, like you should be. I'm not so sure. I mean, what kind of a guy would postpone his flight to take me to dinner? Because
kind that liked you. Exactly. Call him. No, I've never called a strange man in my life, and it's too late to start now. Kate would. She would not. She would so. Remember what she said that time we started the cake business? If you don't take a chance, you don't stand a chance. Yeah, but Kate is not that reckless when it comes to men, I'm sure she'd probably say. Better to know somebody just a little bit before you get involved. I'm with Jenny. Mom believes in taking chances. She's always telling me. If you don't risk everything, you don't get anything. You don't know your mother. What's going on? Allie met a man who wants to take her to dinner, and we think my mom would tell her to go. And I think she'd tell me not to. Kate told me something once. What was that? Bob and we. Bob and we. <laughs> she, I don't think that applies to this situation, honey. <laughs> Maybe not, but it worked. My mitt's torn. Can I borrow Kate's? Yeah, I don't think she'd mind. Great. Oh, wait a minute. Kate's room is private. I'll go get it for you. Look under her bed. That's where I keep mine. Okay. Chicken. <laughs> I am not chicken. I'm sensible. For all I know, this guy could be a psycho killer. Ellie, why do you always look at the downside? Suppose he's sensational. Listen, if you really want to be helpful, can you tell me where you put your mitt? Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Here you go, slugger. Thanks. Mom, it's quarter to seven. So? So if you don't call soon, he'll leave, and you'll never find out if he was the one. What one? The last guy on this earth who will take you out to dinner. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want Mom to go out to dinner. Why not? Because then we'll be stuck eating cereal. Ah, never fear. Tonight we are having chicken. I cannot believe you're making another chicken when you could be going out to dinner. You don't go out with people you don't know because you don't know what you're getting into. What do you think will happen? I don't know. Maybe this guy runs a white slavery operation. <laughs> At least you know he's got a job. <laughs> What's white slavery? Another word for marriage. I can't believe you just said that. Don't you want to get married again? Yes. All I am saying is you don't go out with people you don't know. Maybe you don't. Are any of those catalogs for an all-girls school? Come on, Em, let's take these upstairs before I'm enrolled in a convent. I hope Mom calls you. You only have ten minutes left. Emma, I have the rest of my life. Fine, Mom, but Emma and I are going to college, and Kate will probably get remarried. You know what that means? What? A lot of leftover chicken. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom, you'll always have me. Ah, oh, thanks, pal, but I won't hold you to it. It's not healthy unless you're planning on becoming a serious novelist. Nine minutes left to make one last desperate grasp at happiness. Emma, I want to be alone. You got it. I just know there aren't that many terrific guys out there. Chip, what are you doing? Oh, I'm Eddie. Yeah, can I make one quick phone call? Are you calling that guy? Yes, but I promise you, I won't make you eat cereal. It's better than chicken. <laughs> Hi, Bob. It's Allie Lowell. Yeah, I just got in and got your message. Am I too late? When's this guy coming over anyway? Soon, so hurry up and finish. I'm really proud of Allie. I think we've been a positive influence on her. How do I look? Too good. What is that supposed to mean? It means he'll probably want to take her out again, and they'll be stuck eating cereal all the time. <laughs> He's here. I'm gone. Mom. I just want to make an entrance. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jenny. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm here for Allie. Hi, Bob. Allie, you look terrific. Oh, I was afraid of that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Bob, this is Emma, Jenny, and Chip. Hi. Hi. Would you like a drink? Oh, uh, no thanks. We've got an 8.30 reservation at the Imperial Garden. I hope you like Japanese food. I love she it. She it. <laughs> oh, well, um, is there a good restaurant in the neighborhood? Sure, there's Angelotti's on Bleecker. Or the Szechuan Place on West 4th. Or I have some chicken in the refrigerator. All I'd have to do is stick it in the oven. Oh, no, no, I ask you out. You shouldn't have to cook. Okay. I'll do it. Uh, you still have the ingredients for your still life? Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, that takes care of the salad. Uh, what were you planning on doing with the chicken? Well, I thought we'd eat it. Oh. Well, you got any lemons? 
Yeah, I think so. I, I make a great lemon chicken. Hey, what about you guys? You want to join us? Or are you only into foods that snap, crackle, and pop? Uh, no, we've got a lot of work to do. Upstairs, in our room, with the door closed. See ya. Chip, you coming? Uh-uh. Voila. Oh, terrific. You got a cutting board? Chip, remember that story I was going to tell you? What story? The one about the girl who broke her brother's arm the night before the big game just because he couldn't take a hint? Well, tell me later. <laughs> Got a big game tomorrow, Chip? Yeah. What position do you play? Shortstop. Football's my game. Oh, uh, lemons. Ah, yeah, what should I do? Uh, I need a saucepan about that big and some toothpicks. Okay. Do you play football? I used to. I was a wide receiver for the New York Jets. Now I'm an assistant coach for the New England Patriots. Wow, a wide receiver for the Jets? You must have been pretty tough. They used to call me the stretcher. Because of what you did to your opponents? No, because I was always being carried off the field on one. <laughs> I hold the record for the most injuries in one season. All right. You were smart to switch to cooking. You like football? I love she it. hates it. <laughs> you two better get your stories straight. Hey, if you two start going out, will we be able to go to all the games? Chip, why don't you go upstairs and let Jenny tell you that story? <laughs> you mean the one about the kid whose mother married the jock and made him the happiest kid in the world? Go. See you. A lot, I hope. Nice kid. Yeah, pushy, but nice. All three of them yours? No, Emma belongs to my roommate. She's out of town. And Jenny and Chip's dad? Out to lunch. <laughs> what about you? Never married. Uh, when I was playing, there were too many women to choose from, and, and a bear ruptured my knee. You were attacked by a bear? <laughs> a Chicago bear. I hear that. Yeah, well. Anyway, when I stopped playing, the women disappeared. Not that I minded, really. They weren't the kind that you'd want a permanent relationship with. Is that what you're after? A permanent relationship? Nope. I find the right woman. Uh, onions. Ah. How did an ex-jock become such a good cook? Oh, simple. I'm shy. Cooking gives you something to do, and the conversation just seems to follow. <laughs> Can't be that shy. You postponed your flight to take a total stranger out to dinner. Well, maybe I'm not that shy, but you got to admit it is tough when you don't know someone. Yeah. Hey, listen, um, would you mind if I kissed you right now? And then we could avoid that awkward moment when we say goodbye. Ah. Uh, it's either now or after we eat onions. This is true. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm glad that's over with. Yeah, you know, it's, it's only the first one, really, that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> I feel a lot more comfortable. Yeah, now. me too. <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact... Chop. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, when they removed most of the cartilage from my left knee, I decided I better find a new line of work. Well, did you have anything to fall back on? Sure. I kept falling on it all the time. That's why I lost my job. <laughs> that looks terrific. No, what did you study in school? Philosophy. Ah, you were in trouble. <laughs> no, actually, it worked out. Now, whenever we lose, I'm philosophical about it. <laughs> so, um, well, tell me something about you. Well, after my divorce, I, I went back to school and majored in art history, but, of course, you know that already. Tell me something I don't know. You have a piece of lettuce on your chin. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Does this mean that I shouldn't bother asking you out for a second date? No, call me the next time you're in town. How about you coming to visit me sometime in Boston? I know a great place where we can go dancing. Dancing? What about your knees? Oh, slow dancing. Very slow. Practically limping. I don't know. Boston's pretty far to go for a date. 40 minutes by plane. We can go shopping in the Haymarket, have lunch near the Common, take a walk on the Charles. Robert, if you walked on the Charles, they'd make you a saint. <sighs> you know what I mean. Excuse me. Oh, hi, Mrs. Lowell. I came to see Chip. He's upstairs in his room. It's almost 9 o'clock. Yeah, well, I really have to see him. Well, go on upstairs. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, 
Do I still have lettuce on my chin? No, I don't know why he acted that way. Popular spot. Well, we should have gone to a restaurant. We would have had more privacy. Eugene, what are you doing here? I came to see Chip. Hello. Oh, wow. He's upstairs in his room with Eddie. Hmm? That way. Oh, wow. <laughs> Something's up. Floating crap game. Uh, more than likely, they found out there was an ex-jock in the house. Oh? You think so? Yeah. Hi, uh, we just came down to get some milk. Would you guys like to drink your milk at the table? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> guys, this is Bob Barsky, the stretcher. Ah, Eddie and Eugene. Did you really play for the Jets? Uh-huh. Did you know Joe Namath? Sure. All oh, right, oh. yeah. You knew Joe Namath? Oh, yeah. Uh, we auditioned for the same commercial together once, but he's got better legs than I do. How did you meet him? Don't you guys know anything? Bob played wide receiver for the Jets. You did? I got the scars to prove it. Can we see some? Well, um, this one is from a run-in with Lyle Alzado. Lyle Alzado, whoa! Run-in? It looks more like he tried to rip your arm off. He did. Mm. What else you got? Oh, um... Well, Bubba Smith. Oh, oh, oh. Did you ever bump into Joe Green? Dislocated my back. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are any of your parts in one piece? One or two. Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, guys. Uh, Allie and I were just sitting down to dinner. How about we uh, continue this discussion later? Aww. Oh, I'll send what's left of him up to your room after dessert. I promise. Okay. Come on, guys. See ya. Joe Greenman, wow. Isn't he great? Oh, yeah. Now, where were we? I'm not sure, but there is one thing I would like to ask you. Shoot. What's Joe Namath really like? You wouldn't like him. <laughs> you know, I've had my share of sports mishaps. For instance, I got... I got this one playing tennis. It bumped into a fence. You play tennis? Badly, my ex-husband used to call me Bjorn Blues. <laughs> Can we talk to the stretcher now? Because Eddie has to go home in half an hour. Do you mind? Not at all. He's coming, guys. I just wish we had more time together. Yeah, me too. Really? Really. Hey, listen. Um, this may sound a little crazy, but why don't you come to Boston with me tonight and spend the weekend? Oh, that doesn't sound a little crazy. That sounds a lot crazy. Oh, no, no, really. No, hear me out. You can stay in a hotel. I'm having some friends over for dinner tomorrow night. I know you'd be crazy about them. There's that word again. <laughs> and then uh, Sunday we can do the town. Oh, I don't know. It sounds wonderful, but I couldn't. Why not? Because it's crazy. Allie, this is not a come on. There'd be no pressure. And if you decide you can't stand me, you can jump on a plane and come home. For the whole weekend? But we just met. Well, don't think of it as a weekend. Think of it as our first, second, and third dates all run together. <laughs> It'd be a lot of fun. Uh, I don't, don't answer me. Just think about it while I'm up with the guys. All right. You know any good stories? Oh, yeah. You mean uh, like the one about the woman who decided to take a chance and had a terrific weekend? No, I mean about football. <laughs> oh, yeah, football. I think I know one or two. Oh, Kate, what should I do? Never mind. I know what I should do. We just saw Bob go into Chip's room. How's it going? I like him. Me too. He seems really nice. He asked me to go to Boston with him for the weekend. Get out of here. <laughs> no, he really did. Tonight? Mm-hmm. And you didn't pass out or anything? <laughs> Actually, I am considering going. Get out of here. <laughs> It's only two days. I'd be back on Sunday. Allie, you don't even know this guy. <laughs> I just had dinner with him. One dinner and you're ready to spend the night with him? Don't you think that's a little fast? I am not fast, and I am not going to spend the night with him. I will have my own hotel room, which I will keep locked at all times. Are you sure? <sighs> Jenny, I promise you nothing will happen. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who's the mother here? <laughs> I'm just going on a date, a long 
date in Boston. You're not Allie. Where's Allie? Hey, I'm a fun person. I can do things on impulse. Maybe. <laughs> Mom, you're confused. Kate's the fun one. Kate's the one who does things on impulse. You're the one who plans your own surprise parties. <laughs> well, maybe living with a fun person is starting to rub off. Maybe I'm learning to become spontaneous. After all, you only go around once in life. You might as well go around with some gusto. I don't believe this. One date with a jock and she's doing beer commercials. <laughs> Mom would be in shock. Are you really going? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Definitely not. That's the old Dolly Low we all know and love. Come on in. The old Ally Lowell. Same old boring Ally Lowell. Kate's the fun one. Kate's the one who does things on impulse. Ah, <laughs> oh, Kate, why is life so easy for you and so confusing for me? Do you know what life is? I found life is a pie. Oh. But life doesn't always give you the whole pie. Sometimes it just gives you a slice. Yeah? And the thing is to eat the slice you have with relish. Enough with the metaphors. What's your advice? <laughs> the past is the past, and the future is just the past that hasn't happened yet. But the present is the slice that's on your plate. And I like the slice that's on my plate right now. I prefer lemon meringue. <laughs> Boy, was I sarcastic. <laughs> But you're right. My life is never going to be fun unless I take advantage of the pie on my plate or something like that. Hello? Ah, Kate. Yeah, well, no, the reason I called was that I wanted your advice, but I don't need it anymore because you already gave it to me. Yeah, and I can't talk now because I'm on my way to Boston for the weekend with Bob. Yeah? Yeah, no, I'll explain later. Yes, I will have Emma call you as soon as I leave, but I have to go. Bye. You coming to my place? For dinner, and then I'll go to the hotel. Great. I'll make a reservation. Why don't you try the Ritz? What else? Oh, oh, I'll go pack. <laughs> oh, what would Kate say? Fabulous. <laughs> Mom should be in Boston by now. I hope we did the right thing. Relax, she had to grow up sooner or later. I know. She's so naive about men. Jenny, she's old enough to take care of herself. I guess so. Do you know who you sound like? Who? Your mother, and you hate it when she treats you like that. I guess it's genetic. Look, Bob is a nice guy. Your mom knows her way around Boston. It's only 40 minutes away if she wants to come home. You have nothing to worry about. You're right. Maybe I should just call the hotel, see if she got there. Good idea. <laughs> When you think you're all by yourself, you're not.